Debt can sometimes feel like a dark cloud hanging over you, making everything feel suffocated. A common experience for many of us, but there is a way out, and it can be far simpler than you think. Today, we're exploring debt management strategies that will help you turn things around, ranked from most aggressive to easiest to start with. So, if you're ready to take back control of your finances and live a debt-free life, this video is packed with value. Debt Avalanche Method, one of the most intense strategies out there. Now, don't let the name scare you. This method is all about paying off your debts with the highest interest rates first. Why? Because those high interest rates are what's keeping you stuck in the cycle. By tackling the most expensive debt first, you'll save a ton of interest in the long run. You list all of your debts from highest to lowest interest rate. You focus all your extra cash on the top one while making minimum payments on the others. Once the top one is gone, you move to the next. It's like knocking down the biggest domino first and watching the rest fall in line. Ever tried this? Let us know in the comments. Debt Snowball Method Next up, we've got the Debt Snowball Method. This one's for you if you need those quick wins to stay motivated. Instead of focusing on interest rates, you pay off the smallest debt first, regardless of interest. It's like starting with the easy stuff to build momentum. Imagine crossing off that first debt it was pretty good doesn't it that boost of confidence can keep you going so list your debts from smallest to largest pay off the smallest one first and then roll that payment into the next one and boom you're on a roll comment below if you tried the snowball method and how it worked for you balance transfer method ever heard of the balance transfer method this one's a bit different but super effective if used right the idea is to transfer your high interest debt to a new credit card with a low or even zero percent introductory interest rate this can give you some breathing room and help you pay off the principal faster here's the catch make sure you pay off the transfer balance before the intro period ends or you you could end up with even higher interest. Also, watch out for transfer fees. They can add up if you're not careful. Debt consolidation. This strategy involves combining all of your debts into a single loan with a lower interest rate. It's like merging multiple small fires into a manageable flame. Not only can this lower your interest rate, but it also simplifies your payments. Instead of juggling multiple due dates, you only have one to worry about. You can consolidate through a personal loan or a specialized debt consolidation loan. Just be sure to shop around for the best rates and terms. If you've ever consolidated your debt, hit that like button and tell us how it went. Now let's talk about something fundamental, but kind of all budgeting and cutting expenses but it's the foundation of any good debt management strategy you need to know where your money's going and find ways to cut back start by tracking all of your expenses for a month you'll be surprised where your money's disappearing then create a budget that prioritizes debt repayment cut out non-essentials like eating out or the subscription services you barely use what's the biggest expense you've cut to manage debt drop it in the comments sometimes cutting expenses isn't enough you need to bring in more money to tackle that debt this could mean picking up a side hustle asking for a raise or finding a better paying job increasing your income is a game changer think about the skills you have that others might be for freelance work, selling handmade goods, or even tutoring. The gig economy is booming and there are countless opportunities to make extra cash. Remember, the best method is the one that works for you and keeps you motivated. You're not alone in financial struggle. It gets difficult for all of us sometimes. Subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.